Hi everyone, welcome to Chateau Pichon Baron. Welcome Yannick. Thank you for having me. Very pleased to receive you. Thank you. So we're going to talk about some wine, of course. This is uh, our 2020 vintage, um, another nice vintage in Pichon Baron, another great vintage in Bordeaux, I believe. Um, a little sneaky vintage because we had a loss in the production because of the, of the spring. The, the, the summer was quite warm, very good conditions to, to have a, a good ripeness, sometimes a little bit of drought, but not as tough as what we had in, in some previous years. Uh, the vines manage very, very well this, uh, this dry uh, uh, period. Then the, the months of September came, the ripeness was okay, so we started on the, on the 14th of September. Uh, we've picked for 15 days until the, um, uh, the end of the month, in two times, as usual. The first week was for the Merlot and then the second week for the Cabernet. A uh, few rain during the Cabernet, but there was no problem. It has helped to uh, uh, push up a little bit the, 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 the berries and then have a, a little higher quantity. But that's the, the nice baby and um, uh, it was more sneaky during the vinification process because we knew that the ripeness of the tannins was not perfect everywhere, so we had to pay attention. Uh, we were very uh, um, attentive as well to the, the plot selection and the intra-plot selection to have uh, more samples to taste and to blend. Uh, the blending was done in six times, which is quite rare. Usually it's done uh, more quickly. Uh, but when you have more tasting, you know that it's a great vintage because everyone wants to find the best and the best match. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Shall we taste? Sounds great. So for the blend, uh, can I know the, the blend of the grapes? Sure. It's uh, 74 Cabernet Sauvignon okay. and 26 Merlot. So it's pretty high in Merlot this year. Oui. Usually we have uh, a little less Merlot. We have 20, uh, 22 uh, percent of Merlot maximum. Uh, it's just that the yield of the Cabernet were lower this year. And more or less, the Baron is all, always built on what we call La Butte de Pichon, which is the top terroir, terroir right here almost 40 hectares, Cabernet Sauvignon for the most. And what you have in the bottle is usually the reflect of this plot. So with a lower yield of Cabernet, uh, the Merlot took over. Nice. The aromas are quite great. I'm looking forward to tasting it. Cheers. Santé. So the first thing I taste, more of a classic style, but already very approachable for a wine that's not even ready exactly. it's for the market. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's the baby. You know, wow. it's, uh, for us, it belongs to the classical style. Um, you don't have the austerity that you used to have on um, an old Poyac style, you know, sometimes with very tough tannins and you had to wait 10 years almost to, to open the first bottle. Um, we have earned, uh, learned a lot and we have really made progress in knowing when to pick and how to extract during the vinification process. So, for me, it's almost approachable. Yeah.